Hey boys and girls and welcome to another flip video. This is going to review least common factor and greatest common multiple. And common multiples and group of common factors. We, um, we know how to do it where we just list the numbers out for multiples or we go like 1 and 24, 2 and 12. We know how to do this. In this video, you can only learn how to do it if they give you answers, how you can kind of use their answers against them. Um, still important to know how to do it by listing them out, but this gives you a little bit of a shortcut. So here it says, which of the following are common multiples of 6 and 8? So first thing you need to remember is what multiples mean. So if multiples means that you're going to multiply these numbers, that's what you're going to need to do. So you're going to ask yourself, does can you multiply something with 6 and get 1? Well, you can't do that. So it can't be that one. You don't even have to check that against 8. So, same thing with 2. 2 is less than 6. So, I know it can't be a multiple. It could be a factor, but it can't be a multiple. Um, and then, likewise, with 6. 6 is equivalent to 6, but it's less than 8, so I don't have to check that. Now, here's where I start getting into the numbers that are bigger. So, I know that 6 can go into 12. So, so far, so good. Now, can 8 go into 12? Unfortunately, it cannot, so that's not correct. Can 6 go into 16? It cannot, so I don't even know what to check it against 8. So, can 6 go into 24? Well, it can. It can go in 4 times. Can 8 go into 24? It can go in 3 times, so that is a correct answer, but I still need to keep checking. So, can 6 go into 30? Well, it can. It can go in 5 times. Can 8 go into 30? It can't. Can 6 go into 42? It can, but it can't go into 8. Can 6 go into 48? Well, 6 goes into 8, 48, or 8 times, so that then I know, conversely, 8 goes into six, or 48 6 times. So those are common multiples. Now it says which of the common factors are 12, 16, and 24. Um, so factors, I know, are numbers that are smaller. And the numbers, they're the numbers that fit inside. So last time where I was taking these numbers and fitting them into here, what I'm doing is this time taking those numbers and fitting them into there. So I'm just kind of reversing the process. So can 1 go into 12? Yes, obviously I can. Can 1 go into 16? Yes. And 1 can obviously go into 24? So that's correct. Can 2 go into 12? Yes, because it's even. Can also go into 16 and 24? It's also even. Can 3 go into 12? Yes, it can. But 3 cannot go into 16, so it can't be a common multiple. Can 4 go into 12? Yes, it can go on 3 times. Can 4 go into 16? Yes, it can, 4 times. And can 4 go into 24? Yes, uh, it can, because it is goes in 6 times, so that's correct. Now, 5 can't go into any of those because it doesn't have a um, 5 or a 0 on any of those either. I'll end in something other than 5 and 0. 6 can go into 12, but 6 cannot go into 16, so I don't have to use that. 8 cannot go into 12, so I don't have to check the rest. 12 can go into 12, 12 cannot go into 16. Now, the last three, I don't even have to check them, because they're all greater than 12, so I know they cannot be factors gives me that factors. So I could still do this the old-fashioned way, and that's perfect okay, or this is a way you can kind of use it against, use the answers against it. So for you to bring back to school problem, I've got you, given you two problems, which is not a common factor, so we'll call this problem number one, and we'll call that problem number two. So which is not a common factor of 18 and 30, got some answer choices, don't get tripped up there, and number two, which of the following is a common multiple of 3, 4, and 6. So still, you can do it either way. You can use it where you do it the traditional way, where you know you're listing numbers out, or you can use the answers to make the question work for you. So that should bring you back to school problem. See you in the morning.